What's up tribe? How you guys doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. So we have a couple of updates to this Young Thug Ghana F N Y Lucci situation. So first of all, Gunna is now in custody. He has turned himself in. Remember that um when they the DA did the press conference, Gunna was not in custody, but there was um a warrant out for him, and so he has turned himself in. But now, according to Hollywood Unlocked, now y'all know after Hollywood Unlocked and said that the queen was dead and she wasn't really dead, I've been giving him a little side eye, but I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know. I'm gonna give y'all this information. Um, according to Hollywood Unlocked, there may possibly now be a connection between the the this whole indictment situation and the 2015 shooting that occurred with Lil Wayne's tour bus. Now, you guys remember, um, again, that was in 2015, so that was about seven years ago, but there was an incident with Lil Wayne and his tour bus and people getting, getting shot at. So let me read you guys this story. It says, the infamous 2015 shooting which saw a gunman target Lil Wayne's tour bus appears to be in connection to Gunna and Young Thug's indictment charges. It has been reported in 2015 multiple shots were fired at Wayne's tour bus with the rapper and his entourage inside the vehicle following a nightclub performance in Atlanta, Georgia. A man named Jimmy Winfrey was later arrested for the crime with his warrant stating he had committed the attack to prove his ties to YSL gang by shooting at a rap rival. He later pled guilty to the charges and was sentenced to 20 years, but his legal team contested that a judge influenced his decision, resulting in the ruling being overturned. During an in-depth investigation into the incident, it was then uncovered that Young Thug and Birdman's names had reportedly been listed as co-conspirators but were never charged in the case. Fast forward to this week when Gunna and Thug um, were indicted for gang-related RICO crimes. It's now said that the aforementioned gang has ties to murders, armed robbery, obstruction, witness tampering, and scheming to kill rapper YFN Lucci behind bars. According to the New York Times, Wayne's bus shooting in con is connected with the indictment due to <clears throat> Jimmy and Young Thug's association with the YSL gang. Sources say it's still unclear to what extent this will play in the ongoing case. Um, especially since there were details connected with the situation being um, revealed by being revealed today. Yet it certainly intensifies the severity of the charges that Thugger, I'm mad they called that man Thugger, faces. <laughs> Why they call him Thugger? <laughs> I'm sorry, that Thugger faces alongside Gunner and 26 other um, people. Look, I just have to keep bringing y'all updates. I feel like this case is going to be, they're going to be gems dropped every day. Um, whether all of these things are connected or not, I, it just remains to be proven. Um, but the fact that it's all suspected to be connected, it's very interesting. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Put it in the comments. Peace.